Welcome to CO3 Beer Showdown. Today, I've got two sours from Froth out of Buffalo, New York. Now these aren't liquid lollipops, they're naked lollipops. Let's see which one's best. Two naked lollipops, both crazy fun flavors. I'm super excited. I'm gonna start with this guy on the left here. So on the left, I've got Concord Grape and Lime. That sounds incredible. Both of these are Sour Ales, Naked Lollipops. They're both 5%. This one is Concord Grape and Lime. Love the color. It's kind of pink. Oh, wow. The Concord Grape comes through very strong. It smells just like grape jelly. Yeah, that's grape jelly. I think I get a little bit of lime coming through, but not much. And I love lime. So typically I want that big punch of tartness from the lime and that sour. But it's it's mostly just Concord grape getting a lot of grape flavor. It actually kind of like makes me think of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, even though there's no peanut butter, just because that grape flavor is so strong. That Concord grape, it's like that that grape jelly you would have on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Definitely fun. I don't know. Is it... Could I have more than a glass, more than a can? I'm not sure. All right, let's go over to this guy over here. This is actually Dracula's Blood Loganberry. Now I'm thinking Dracula's blood, is that the the ice pop, like when you're getting the snow cone? That's something of a snow cone. I think that might be what that flavor is. But it says Dracula's blood in quotation marks and Loganberry. Loganberry is always a good flavor to have. This one is red. I mean, it actually has more of like a, a candy red color. Kind of like, it, it's the exact same color as Code Red. Oh, okay. I'm actually surprised at how similar the flavor profile is. Even though we got Concord Grape, we got Loganberry, but they have a similar base flavor. Hmm. Okay. Again, I don't... It's, it's, it's interesting. There's definitely some fun going on there, but... Let me, let me try them both again, because I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm ready. The winner today is going to be Concord Grape and Lime. I really think the Concord Grape, really strong flavor, and having the Dracula's button coming back, definitely the lime helps. It's giving it more of that sour flavor that you're looking for. So let's talk about this though. Naked lollipops, what it tells me right now, froth, these liquid lollipops are typically going to be that very thick smoothie sour. These are thinner. So they're going for a different market there. They're going for a different style. I really am happy about that. I'm actually more of a fan of this style, this consistency over the smoothie sours. Now, these didn't pack the flavors like some of the liquid lollipops though. So I, I gotta give them a, a, a lower score on that. But in terms of the consistency, the thickness, I really enjoyed that. Flavors. I mean, let's do it again. They're good. Um, I feel like I want more though. There could be, maybe it's better flavors, right? Maybe I need different flavors. These, they're good, they're tasty. They're light, they're refreshing, but they didn't pack that punch that I'm used to getting from a liquid lollipop in terms of, you know, your peanut butter, your 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 jelly and peanut butter going together, your raspberries, your blueberries, all those things coming together. Typically give me a little bit, you know, bigger punch of flavor. These actually have some good flavor, but 
It's just not at that level of the liquid lollipop. So they're good, not great. But today, definitely Concord Grape and Lime wins. All right, guys, let me know what you think about Frost's approach doing these naked lollipops as compared to their liquid lollipops that are more their smoothie style. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.